Welcome back, my flock. The Bad Raven here in the Bad Raven's Nest. We are going to do a review today of a movie that just came out this weekend. It's called The Jungle Cruise. It has The Rock in it, which is Dwayne Johnson, and Emily Blunt. Very strange pairing there. I know different acting levels. Emily, I think, is a better. Emily is a lot better actor, actor than. Uh, in The Rock. He's come a long way in his time at uh, in the movies. This movie is, if you don't know, is based on the Walt Disney World ride, The Jungle Cruise. It's like Pirates of the Caribbean was based on that ride too. I don't know why they felt like this movie would be great to be based, to come from that ride. But anyway, they decided to make it. I just want to say, I went and watched this with my, Drew Drop didn't watch this with me. He was working. I went with three of my sisters. I wasn't expecting anything great. I hadn't really wanted to go watch it, actually. And my sisters wanted to see it. And it has action in it, too. It's kind of like a poor man's uh, Indiana Jones, I guess, with Indiana being a female. That's what I got from it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You may, you may get something totally different. Getting into, like, the movie itself, it's it's rather a long movie, longer than I, I thought it should be you know, cut down. Like, it was about halfway through the movie I got really really tired and almost dozed off a couple times There's a lot of story a lot of slow parts not that all the time you get to the character better and stuff like that but I felt like it didn't really go all that way I felt like it was just more they were trying to show you more about the characters they had to build up the actual reason that they go on the jungle cruise and everything like that See, the rock character is a captain of a ship that does jungle cruises in the Amazon. This is set back like in 1915, I think, is what the, uh, the movie says at the very beginning of it. And Emily Blunt's character is kind of a, like a, I don't know if we'd say an archaeologist, like Indiana Jones, but she's into this mystic thing about a rose or, or bloomed rose in the Amazon that's got healing powers. And she's basically in a time where women are looked down on, women are considered not equal to men at that time, and she's having to be, well, she's kind of, she's rich. Her and her brother are there together in this movie, and they're rich, and she's like, she wears pants and all this, and that's what The Rock calls her pants a lot in the movie, because all the women wear dresses, they're all supposed to wear dresses because of the time period. But getting back to the movie itself, I did like The Rock's take on the character that he was playing when he was doing all the the little jokes on the Amazon cruise ship. I mean, on the when he's on the Amazon on the ship and captaining a ship and people on these tours of the Amazon, he would do like the little things. Like the, if you ever rode the ride at Walt Disney World, they would have they would like make jokes up little crazy jokes here and there and he would like be you know shoot them out one by one by one and it was it's really they call them dad jokes i guess you would say and i like that i like that I was thought that was the well done for that they had showed some of this already in the trailer so it kind of it wasn't new again they had a lot of cgi in it i mean you could tell they wasn't in the amazon they weren't even nowhere near the amazon probably if you watch the uh, making of there's probably even when there's no water there no no lake no river no creek no ocean no nothing it was probably all cgi because of the location and i know a lot of movies do that a lot of avengers but it just felt like it was a cross between indiana jones there's a the lost ark and Pirates of the Caribbean. It's like they kind of sandwiched it together between those types of movies. And I don't know if it was really aimed for little kids because there was all scary parts uh, toward the end that would probably scare a little kid. And I, and I like an in between adult, teen, whatever. I don't think they would be able to last the first part of it being so boring. Uh, they had their little, I guess you would say, movies do now, they had to have their token gay person in it. They had to have a woman character that's being oppressed by the by the establishment which I know it's set there in this time and that was supposed to be that time period and I, and I, but it just seems like they're not subtle on anything they have to really beat your head over the head like oh now you know 
women, you know, we can do it too. And I have no problem with a strong woman character. I've liked tons of movies, from Terminator to Aliens to all kinds of movies with lead women characters that are kick-butt characters, and I have no problem with that. I just felt like the gay stuff was just added in there as Wendell Dress, and I don't think it really helped the character's backstory. He, he, uh, you know, was who he was, and I had no problem with him being in the movie. It just it felt like it was just added in because of the way the times are. You know, if, if you're coming there watching this as a woman and you expect to see The Rock running around with his shirt off or, you know, seeing his big muscles all the time, the only thing they refer to him as a big guy. They always, when it came up to him, oh, he, he were big, but they never really looked at his muscles and they never did take his shirt off. He did get in the water a few times, but he had a shirt on. And I don't know if this was a thing that The Rock wanted to do to kind of get out of this, you know, just showing his, his muscles or anything like that. So if you're a woman, you'll be very, very disappointed that you, you don't have that eye candy to look at, which they're cutting all that stuff out for men in their movies too, so I guess women, this is what you get when you don't want that kind of stuff in movies. It takes from everything. Anyway, like I said, the first half of the movie were was really long and tedious. I did like the bad guy. There's several bad guys in it, but the main bad guy, I don't know his name, but he was... He done a very good job at it, and I'm, I was saying Emily Blunt didn't do a good acting job. She was, a, she did fine with acting in this, and so did the Rock. But it was just wasn't a movie that they, I felt like it was a lot of forced stuff going through. When I talk about, that's my big pet peeve is chemistry. You know, on this channel, how I like when I say the, the actors have to have chemistry, and I did not feel, even though my sisters believed there was chemistry between Emily Blunt and the Rock in it their love affair or whatever you want to call it I felt like it was very very forced I felt like they did they had the bickering going on like in the stranger things between Hopper and Joyce they were doing that type of stuff in it and it was it was felt like it was just needlessly trying to get you to think oh well, it's so funny how they're just like one off each other it's just so it's just funny it's hilarious and they're going to get together sometime and all that and I don't want to give anything away, but I mean, that's, that's the, I just didn't feel like that was genuine because I didn't feel like they had any chemistry together. So I, that's just me. My sister thought the exact opposite. They thought it was awesome. They thought the whole movie was awesome and they thought that the, them two together were a great couple. It had, it just, I just think it needed to be trimmed up and I think it needed to be kind of honed down what they were wanting to do with it. I just felt like it was kind of all over the place and I just didn't really like it I didn't I'm not saying it's a horriblest movie ever made the well-made movie Disney puts out well-made movies it's just I didn't know what audience they were aiming at and what they expected this story to invigorate people to come out there in the summer because it looked good I don't know why really they picked The Rock to be in it could have been basically any guy could have done it. You didn't have to be seven foot tall or however tall he is and built like a brick house to uh, play it. But she's the hot character at the time and he's in everything so I guess that's why uh, they, they went with him. But I just have to say with my rating I would probably put just rent it on Redbox when it comes out. And I really hate to say that because I really try to push everybody to go watch movies in the theater right now since the theaters are hurting really bad and I wish that they hadn't released this on Disney Plus at the same time with the $30. I think it's going to hurt its box office and it may make it bomb because of it because a lot of people can get it there and piracy and everything and get a great copy of it that way. I, I just can't recommend it as I'll never watch it again. I'll never buy it because it's just one of those movies that I saw it once was okay and I don't want to ever see it again. You may have a total different take on it. Maybe I'm not the target audience for it. I mean, I like The Rock. I love Emily Blunt's uh, uh, movies, too. I don't know why I wouldn't be, but you may have a totally different take on it. Just leave your uh, what you thought of the movie if you went and watched it. If you liked it, I'm very wrong on something. I would be glad to, to check it out and see. I don't know. That's where I'm going to have to leave it. That's the, what I think of the movie. I'd like to say... Thank you for watching the channel with me and the Drew Drop. We really, really appreciate every view. Please like and share and 
and subscribes and you know share this with your friends we're going for a thousand subs we're getting there little by little and we appreciate anything you can do for that and always remember the bad raven is your friend we just love making videos for you so we're gonna let you go and we'll talk at you later and goodbye